It's pretty fair to say we'd all love a holiday right now. Mm. However, all, with all but essential travel banned, we know it's just not possible. Unless, of course, that travel is part of your work. Now, this is something influencers like Love Island's Laura Anderson and Amber <coughs> Gill and Karen Brady's daughter Sophia have all taken advantage of as they jetted off to Dubai. They're getting a bit of backlash, even from other influencers like Olivia Atwood. But are jet-setting social media stars just doing their job? Is it right that they still get to travel? What do you think, Judy? Do you know what? I think, look, the reality is we're in lockdown and people have probably lost jobs and ways for them to like accumulate their finances. And maybe for some of them, this is their only way of having an income. Um, however, you know, if I'm real, it, it, you will look at it and you will feel frustration, you know, because some of us want to fly for holidays. Some of us want to fly um, because we have uh, ill family members in another country. Yeah. And we're all trying as much as we can to adhere to the rules. It does say you can fly for work. The question is, is whether they are genuinely flying for work or is an excuse for you to go on holiday? And I think that's where probably the frustration come in and, and people's perceptions are maybe slightly frustrated. But, you know, just about all of them are insisting that they are there for work. All but essential travel is banned. So unless you're there in a work capacity, it is against the current rules. But, but Denise, do you think there's a little bit of snootiness where, where social media <clears throat> influences and what work it is that they do? Do you think there's a bit of Newtonist behind that. I do, and I think it's always been the case. And the thing is, Charlene, I feel that, yeah, I think that some people are misjudging the tone of the nation, and I get that. But at the same time, I think that what's happening at the pandem in the pandemic is that we are creating a very, very, very judgmental society. And I think that it's given a voice to a lot of people who, prior to the pandemic, would have walked around people's, um, people's roads and um, at the weekend, looking over their fences, desperately wanting to see someone who had maybe erected a clothesline without planning permission. <laughs> so I think that it's given a massive voice to those people who would be straight on the phone to the parish council. Now, as well, because the rules have been a little bit woolly, at the mm. moment you can't travel except if it's for work. But not only a few weeks ago, you actually could. And those people who were adhering to the holiday rules... Um, is that they were getting a test before they went. Some of them were getting another test when they got there. Regardless of what yeah. Sue from Facebook thought about this, they were actually following the rules. But, but, but de 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 Denise, the reality of it is, on the 3rd of December, I've got, I've got it here, uh, when Inga returned to a three-tier system, some destinations were deemed safe for travel and that, you know, there was that travel corridor. But Brits were advised to avoid international travel unless necessary. But so they yes, were advised. Was advice. So it was it was left up to us, but I think there there is a point that especially Linda you were making earlier when it comes to the fact that a lot of us would would love to just jet off on to, holiday. Yeah, any chance to go, I'd go, but we can't go at the moment and I do think it's like rubbing noses, people's noses in it, seeing them on the beach and in their bikinis and whatever. Um it's like I'm sorry, but that's not essential to be an influencer. An influencer is someone that's... But it's, that's it's, 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 time, but it's a job. They may it's have a, job, a mortgage yeah. to pay. Mm. They may have a yeah. mortgage to pay and they've got children, and that's how they... I'm being a bit devil's advocate here, no, no, I have but to I, say. No, I, but in terms of... It, they are entrepreneurs. This is their business. They yeah. do have bills to pay, and irrespective of what's happening in this current time, they do have to work, don't they, ladies? They do have to work, yeah, but I just think it's like, you know, for us that can't travel, they can do it in their bedroom, can't they? They can do their bikini <laughs> shots in their bedroom. Well, hopefully one day we'll all be able to travel once again.